Hi, my name is Anthony Zeiderhoff. I uh, look after CPE sales and sales engineering for EMEA at ARIS. We work with various stakeholders within the company and with customers to ensure that we have the best uh, solutions on the CPE side for our customers in Europe. The need for increased speeds to the home is something that is never stopping. We have both cable carriers and telco uh, carriers, OTT providers as well, so all of them are trying to do the same thing. You know satisfy this insatiable appetite for uh, increased speeds uh, to the home. You wonder sometimes why is all of this bandwidth required uh, to the home? What's, what's driving that? And it, it's, it's, several, it's several things, you know, online gaming, it's the sheer number of connected devices, 4K TV, they all know that it's coming, uh, so they want to both prepare the network as well as prepare the, the home for this, this new wave of, uh, of uh, you know, high compression but beautiful video, 4K, uh, that uh, we know is coming at different speeds within the market. G.Fast, VDSL, vectoring, these are the types of enabling technologies that really leverage the, uh, the copper network and enable them to go faster to the home and compete with the cable carriers, which are obviously leveraging the DOCSIS HFC network in a similar fashion. And that fiber connection to the home is the most expensive because you're really then having to do digging up streets and and causing some disruption, and, and that piece is very, uh, very difficult. In Europe, we have a high penetration of MDUs, so people that live in multi-dwelling units. Um, so this lends itself very well to a technology that brings fiber to the apartment, MDU, but then uses the copper riser in the MDU to address that, that last connection, which really helps them save quite a bit of uh, capex uh, in order to deliver similar speeds uh, to uh, each individual subscriber. What's the number one issue affecting consumers? What's the number one thing that they, they worry about? And Wi-Fi, even though they love it, has become a, a big issue for them because they want solutions that allow them to have ubiquitous coverage um, in the home. Consumers simply don't understand when they're paying for a multi-hundred megabit connection why, in some places in their home, they're still having a hard time getting good coverage. So who do they call when they have those issues? They call the operator. Um, so really we're trying to find solutions to solve that issue uh, within the home. Sitting in the middle of your home, there are invariably going to be places in the home where you're not going to get uh, that coverage. It starts with having a very good uh, Wi-Fi gateway. So we're having a lot of conversations with operators to say, okay, spending a little bit more on that gateway may cost some capex, but if on the other side it drives down opex, less calls to the call center, less churn of your customers who are dissatisfied with the type of coverage they have in the home, then you can build a business case that says, this is, this is a solution that makes sense. Um, so we're working on a suite of software solutions that do two things. One is they allow the operator to have some visibility of what's happening uh, in the home to proactively address uh, connectivity issues. And on the other side, it also allows consumers uh, to have some self-help, if you will, tools for them to easily understand what's happening uh, in the home and then to suggest solutions. So if we can help operators, something that we're doing now, resolve that issue, the customer satisfaction scores are going to go very high, the churn rate is going to decrease, and we're going to have both happy consumers and happy operators, which is our goal.